some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Evans Mills, New York, with a New York public tour, a.k.a. the 8th grade dropout, a.k.a. that guy who... Uh, is pretty much the village idiot and has got everybody in the village pissed off at him. And now he decides to pass by the very same bar that he continues to antagonize people at again. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What a night. Yeah, we just got up ourselves a little while ago. I forced myself to get up out of bed. Maybe it'll force me to go to bed a little earlier tonight. I was gonna sleep for a little bit longer, but it's all good. All good. We finally did something last night. Something better can get done now. Awesome. You ever watch a you ever watch a grown man on a bicycle? Yes, New York Public Tour. His name is Matthew. And I've talked to him on a couple of occasions, and there is just no getting through to this guy. I mean that eighth grade education he has just doesn't do it for him because well uh He's a bit hard-headed. He doesn't see things the way everybody else sees them. He doesn't see uh, antagonizing a bar full of people as a bad thing. And now because of his uh, lunacy over there in that town, he's got everybody pissed off at him. Boy, you better straighten up and fly right or that town is going to come down hard on you and you may end up, well... You've already been in the hospital one time in the past few weeks, so you better be careful. Because those townspeople don't seem to uh, want to be very merciful on you. Yeah, and he also ended up with a couple felonies because of that one night as well. So he didn't come off too great hospital visit and ended up with a couple felonies. So yeah, not too great of a position right there. Couldn't have happened to a better person. People, motherfuckers want to keep thinking everyone hates me. That everyone's out to get me. Keep thinking that I don't have no support. See where that gets you. You found out last night, huh? More friends and support than you can think. You think I do? Ninety percent of them are hate. Are people are haters? Probably yes. But that ten percent are what counts. That's those are the ten percent that matter. So it's raining. It's sprinkling a little bit. But my phone's pretty good. Yep, yep, that's right, pepperoni. Okay, I get it. You're, uh, it's okay to piss off the other 90% of the people as long as you have 10% on your side. Dude, that basically means that uh, in a fight, you would have nine people against you and one person on your side. So, nine out of ten people, uh, yeah. Not very good odds in that kind of situation, dude. So you might want to think about being a uh, much friendlier person toward these people. I do believe it was Frauded Wrangler that said that you should uh, go to the bar, buy a few uh, round of beers, and bury the hatchet before something does happen to you. You might want to take that advice. It was all done. Um, me, me and my girlfriend signed statements. Uh, so didn't the other man that showed up. It's all good. They better do something now. I'm pretty sure, I'm, I think if I'm correct, you chimed in at the at the end of everything. Uh, but you've seen the people show up at my house all screaming and, and whatnot, if I'm correct. I said everybody, everybody wants to look at this the wrong way, you know, and see the negativity. You don't have a clue how things work. Doesn't matter what I come out here and say. It's all freedom of speech. If these people are allowed to do it, so can I. 
Yes, we have freedom of speech, but not freedom from consequences of our speech. Because if you walk up the wrong person on the wrong day, then there will be consequences to your uh, speech that you give to that individual. And, well, there might be consequences on his part for taking care of business if he decides to do that. But some people just don't care about that kind of issue. So, like I said, tread carefully. People think that by me coming out here and speaking is agitating and instigating. When these people are all the ones who started with me. Yeah, good, good, good job, then. Good job, man. Like I said, I'm going to fucking hold every single one of these accountable. I don't care if I have to be out here every single day for the whole the rest of the summer. These people aren't going to bully me. Bottom line, what's up? <laughs> There's a fan. He gave me a little... Like I said, guys. Yo, what's up? There's another wave. As many people as you pissed off in that town, something tells me they're not honking their horn to wave at you. They're honking their horn to uh, give you the middle finger. So stop thinking so highly of yourself and try listening to those who actually know these things that, uh, you know, you are on the verge of really pissing the, the wrong person off at this point. Because you wouldn't be the first person to ever piss an entire town off and end up paying the price. Lawyer's probably going to be pissed off. The DA's going to be pissed off. Probably probation. But at the end of the day, I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not violating no terms of my court or probation. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm going to do. If people don't like it, pretend I don't exist. It's that simple. Pretend I don't exist. Because I really don't care. I'm not out here to make friends. I didn't get into public photography to make friends. Thinking that I was going to, you know, have thousands and thousands of people. I'm just out doing whatever I want to do. Recording whatever I want to record. And that's it. So. Like I said, dude, you may think that you're invincible, but there are always consequences to your actions. So just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. Two felonies at my own home. Nothing to do with me out here recording. That's the way it is. We laugh while you cry, but I'm still here. I'm still here. I'll be here every day, as long as I still have support. Like I said, guys, I wish I could share with you exactly what happened last night, but Bernard got what he deserves. His, his, he'll have charges. Uh, I will not have a problem getting an order of protection with all of the evidence I have against Bernard. The multiple times on camera, I caught him at my house, three different locations. Uh, he followed us from Antwerp to Woodcliffe. He's the reason we got evicted from Woodcliffe. I now have evidence, actual proof that he's in charge of the two fake profiles. It's over, Bernard. You are catching charges. They will do something. It's not only me and my girlfriend you're fighting now. You have other, other witnesses, other statements. So it is what it is. You ever watch, you ever watch a grown man shit his pants? Thought I was alone. Thought I was up at the corner by myself, huh? He didn't expect... He didn't expect that. That's all right. It, 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 listen. Listen, hey. That's all that matters. Is a charge. Any charge. Because then I get an order of protection that completely shuts him up. Yeah, they weren't laughing last night when they rolled in four cars deep, huh? There was two, 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 two car, uh, sheriff cars and two uh, SUVs. They weren't laughing last night, huh? Sheriff did came in and actually did something. From now on, we'll be handling it with the sheriffs. Crying to your mommy. No one, my mommy wasn't nowhere near us, bud. 
You know, dude, uh, you have a supreme lack of intelligence from what I can see. You don't seem to realize that the issue that took place at your house was a direct result of you pissing everybody off at the bar that one particular day. You just don't seem to see the connection to that. Well, uh, that's your problem, not mine. If you choose to ignore the advice of everybody that you have been talking to on live streams, that is your problem. So whatever happens to you, happens to you. Good luck with it. Uh, but at least try to take some advice every once in a while and try to show a little bit of intelligence and learn from your mistakes. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though it was just ranting about this idiot right here. So I guess I will see you on the next one then.